Hey guys, so in this video I want to show you how to solve problems where an object is moving along a curved path. So instead of having an object moving in the horizontal, uh, in, in the vertical, or even at an incline, in an incline plane, it's going to be moved in some sort of curved path. And we're going to use the energy equation to do that. Let's check it out. So it says here, all curved path, path problems must be solved using energy. In other words, using the big energy equation. Something that looks like this. Notice how you're going in a curved path. It has to be done using energy. I put here in parentheses that, that there are no alternatives to really reinforce that as soon as you see a curved path, you will jump immediately to the energy equation. I also put an asterisk here uh, just to make a comment that it, this is not really the only way. You could use more advanced uh, physics with calculus to do this, but even most physics with calculus classes won't um, do it that way. Instead, they will do it the energy way, which is much, much easier. Okay? So, if you see a curved path, it's automatically an energy problem. Um, first example here, what minimum speed would a block of unknown mass need to have at the bottom of, the, of a 30 meter high smooth hill in order to reach the top? So, what initial velocity do you need here so that you reach the top? Okay, and this is a 30 meter hill. Now, I'm going to use the energy equation and write it here, and then we'll talk about some of the details of this question. Curved path, so I jumped straight into the energy equation. Is there a kinetic energy in the beginning? There is kinetic energy in the beginning because you have a speed. If you had no speed, you wouldn't be moving and you would never get to the top. There's no potential energy because you are on the ground. The work done by non-conservative forces is the work done by you plus the work done by friction. You're not doing anything. You're just watching this box move. And the, the hill is smooth, so there's no friction, so there's no work done by non-conservative forces. Um, kinetic energy. Is there kinetic energy at the end? And this is the trickiest of them all here because the answer is no. There is no kinetic energy. The reason for that is I'm asking what is the minimum speed that you need at the bottom so that you reach the top. What's implied here is that you barely reach the top and your final velocity is zero. For example, let's say that the velocity at the bottom here, if you go, I'm just gonna make up some numbers, if you're moving with a 20, you get to the top with a five. Well, that means you could be going a little bit slower. Uh, let's say that going down here with an 18 gets you to the top with a 2. That means that the minimum speed is actually less than 18. You could be going even slower and still get to the top. So the idea is what is the velocity here so that I just barely get here, meaning uh, the extreme case here or the boundary condition here is that the final velocity is zero. Cool? So that's how that works. Um, and let's keep going here there is potential energy at the end now once you've done this this is pretty simple because I just have to expand these half mv initial squared and this mgh final the mass is cancel and you see that the initial velocity is the square root of 2 gh um, final okay and as we've discussed before um, this is a very common equation that we're going to see all the time. Notice how the velocity depends on the height gained and not on the path taken. Had you gone from here to here on a straight line, it would have been the same thing. You would have needed you would have needed the same initial velocity to just barely get there. The fact that this is a curved path makes no difference. All right. Now we can just plug in some numbers here. This is the easy part. Gravity. I'm just going to use round that to a 10 to make it easier. And this is a 30. So this is going to give us the square root of 600, and the answer is 24.5 meters per second. Cool, and that's it for this one.